colonies only have one queen? Or do they? What happens when two queens are forced to rule one colony together? Will they thrive and create a bustling city? Or will they fall, claimed by the unforgiving law of the undergrowth? Find out today on Adrian's Angels. So sit back, relax, and get ready, because this is the tale of two sisters. As the colonies of the Ant Room live out their day-to-day -day lives, a small force is growing in the shadows, biding their time, fueled by passion and hope. This is my young Prenolepis Imperis colony, also known as False Honeypot Ants. But the colony is still small. They must move quickly if they are to survive. And move quickly they will, for while most other colonies have one queen, this one has two, allowing them to produce double the amount of eggs and grow to explosive numbers very rapidly. But they're not alone, for unbeknownst to them, just a mere millimeters away lies a massive empire on the verge of explosion. Competition between the two colonies will be fierce, as they not only joust for food, but also for your admiration. Who will come out on top? An established young colony? Or two sisters ready for power? Post who you think will win in the comments below. But before you do so, let's talk stats. The pavement ants are fast growing, very active, and very aggressive. Measuring around 2 to 4 millimeters in length, these ants are smaller, requiring less food to build up more numbers. Armed with a potent venom, these ants are able to incapacitate any prey that wanders too far into their territory. This is an army of formidable warrior races. The Tetramorium colony employs vigorous swarm tactics, overwhelming their prey with sheer numbers. And in the other corner lies our Prenolepis colony. Our dual queens, the two sisters, ready for a new future. These queens have successfully raised their first brood, and they will go on to lay the foundation for what will one day be a great subterranean empire. These first workers, known as Nenetics, are vital to the colony's survival. The queens, having not eaten for months, have been starving, and these workers are now providing them with the lifeblood of the colony, sugar water. For now at least, this will be their meal. While these ants seem like peaceful, cute creatures, they're truly fierce warriors, able to spray formic acid at a range of a few centimeters. These soldiers grow quickly and are small. This allows them to mass produce soldiers at an alarming rate, able to overwhelm their enemies. These ants are formidable, and little did I know they were going to show me just how fierce they really are. And while all seems peaceful within the colony, little did I know, there's been a murder. Make sure to subscribe to see what happens next on Adrian's Antics.